Welcome back to F122, where things get even worse for the NCP team. I started this race, the Australian Grand Prix, in P19. I was having a pretty good race, made it all the way up to P13. Um, no! Mechanical failure, you're out of the session. When I titled the last episode, Disaster in Jeddah, I, I, I didn't think we'd have another one. Yeah, that didn't go really well in Australia, so we're just going to ignore that and jump straight over to Imola, where we've got a really cool sprint weekend. We've got some new upgrades on the car, so we should be really quick. Our teammate also has some upgrades going into this race, so we'll see how he does. This is actually a sprint weekend, which basically means you've got practice one, then qualifying, then practice two, then a sprint race, and then the actual race itself. So this is going to be a lot longer of a race weekend. I'm excited for this. So, I mean, providing our engine doesn't explode, this should be a really, really fun race weekend. I'm really excited for this one. Let's go. So if you have no idea what a sprint weekend weekend is basically how it works is you've got qualifying the place where you finish in qualifying is where you're going to start the sprint race from now unlike a usual f1 race the goal of a sprint race is to basically establish the grid in the starting order for the actual race that takes place the following day and that is what we've got going on this weekend, which is super, super cool. I've never done one of these. I don't know, things are looking good for the NCP Motorsport, if I'm honest right now. And we've got a little bit of slipstream on the back of Yuki. Bring us to the line. P2 behind Daniel Ricardo. And it's not far off. That looks pretty good. Okay, back to the garage. Obviously, we're not going to stay P2, so I'll get some new soft compound tires. We've already dropped down to P17. We're faster than Nicholas Latifi, Vettel, Ocon. Uh... All right, moving on. I'm just going to jump back on the circuit and do another lap. Let's see. That's a very unfortunate place to spawn in. Game, game, game. Don't, please, please don't hit him. Please don't hit him. Please don't just break, 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 break. Ah, not worth it. So after all of those shenanigans, we've dropped down to P18. So we've definitely got some work to do. Nice, nice. Get it to the line. Go 0.16 seconds faster. I wasn't able to improve as much as I would have liked. I finish up P19. Luckily, this is a sprint weekend, so we should be able to make that up. But again, we'll see. And just like that, we can jump into our sprint qualifying session. Obviously, I didn't have the best qualifying lap I would have liked, but we can make up for that here. So I'm pretty sure we don't actually need to go for a pit stop during our race. We'll take a look at our strategy in a second. But for now, our starting grid, Max Verstappen lines up next to Charles. Charles Leclerc. They are tied in the World Drivers' Championship, so they're going to be pushing super hard. Alcon, with a blistering lap in qualifying, goes all the way up in P4. That's insane. Sergio Perez struggles a little bit. Daniel Ricciardo, not so great for him. Fernando, also not so great. Sebastian Vettel lines up alongside Alex Albon. There is my teammate out qualifying me for the first time of the year. There is my fellow Canadian. Pierre Gasly is lining up behind us. That sucks. Whoa. We're definitely in a good position to make up some ground today. It's all going to depend on if the AI is going to be aggressive or not. Everybody is on the medium compound tires. Okay. And we've got my teammate in front, so we definitely don't want to crash him five red lights and away we go for our first sprint race weekend of the career mode shocking getaway for me that was rather unfortunate i drop all the way down to p21 that really really sucks get on the brakes nice and early Oh, I thought about looking up the inside of Pierre Gasly there. That would have been a little bit risky. The Alfa Romeo's behind. I don't want to get punted from there. Use some ERS. Can I make one up on Lance Stroll? Possibly round the outside. Switch it back to the inside. Got him. Got him. And maybe another on Nicholas Latifi. Caught him napping a bit. I don't think he expected that one. That was a nice move. All right, I've made it back to P19. We're going to see, though, is the AI going to be aggressive or are they going to play it safe in a sprint weekend? I don't know. Oh, I'm going to look up the inside of Pierre Gasly going into the chicane. Run a bit deep. Keep it on the road. All right, so we've successfully made up one position 
after all of that chaos, my teammate is in front of me, P17, and just like that, we've caught up to the back of our teammate again, and we've got the same dilemma as last time. If given the opportunity, do we send one on my teammate? There goes Pierre Gasly, use some of the ERS. He's got the outside line. Not gonna worry about my teammate. I gotta worry about Pierre Gasly. Get on the brakes a little late. Got him. Didn't realize he was that close to me. That was my bad. Yellow flags up here. People going very, very slowly. It's one of the Alfa Romeos. It looks like it's Valtteri Bottas. Valtteri Bottas gone. I think I just, yeah, I overtook under yellow flags. Go, 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 Piastri. Valtteri Bottas out of the session. Wait, are you kidding me? Again, no safety car. Is that really five engine blowups in this series? We're on episode four and we haven't had a single safety car yet. Anyways, in good news, Lance Stroll has actually overtaken Pierre Gasly behind. So maybe I won't need to worry as much. And now, now I can kind of look towards my teammate in front, maybe. Maybe I do want to use some DRS. Lance is gaining. Lance is gaining. I'm going to force him the long way around. I've actually... Yellow flags again? Has somebody else gone bang with their engine? We will find out. Come on, Piastri. Come on, Piastri. We've moved up to P16 now. Who had a problem? The yellow flag's gone. What happened? That is one of the Mercedes. That is George Russell, who's jumped it into the pit lane. I... Softs? Why are you on softs? More yellow flags up here? Hello, is there a problem? Oh, there is a problem. There is a problem. It's Sebastian Vettel, who's also blown up his car. Engine go kaboom. And let me guess, no safety car again. Yep, we're already back to green flag running and we are seriously not gonna get a safety car for the now sixth time. I can see Yuki Tsunoda up there. It might be him, I'm not sure. There's Yuki, somebody up here is going very, very slowly. Lick the stamp, like your Australian brother. Go, 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 reel him in. Re yeah, Oscar, if you're not gonna do it, I'm gonna do it to you. I'm gonna do it to you, you can take notes. That's a big send. That was a stupid send. He's okay, he's okay. Oscar's okay. I'm not gonna lie. I think Oscar would try to murder me as soon as we jump out of the cars. However, I'm the boss. I make the rules. He should have moved out of the way because I am gaining on Yuki. You are holding me up, sir. Very nice. Sitting on the back of Yuki. Very nice through the final two corners. I'm not even gonna use my ERS. Very nice. Yuki, I'm sending it to the outside through here. Switches back to the inside. Give it. Give it up. Give it up. Got him late on the brakes. Thank you. Got him. That's P12. P12. Alex Albon, one second up the road. We are gaining massively. I've got some battery saved up. I'm gonna dump it all on the next lap and I'm gonna go full send. Oscar, take note. Here we go. This is about to be a copy paste of that previous move on Yuki. We, got a, we, got, we need a nice exit. Not my best exit. Use the battery, dump it now. No DRS for Albon in front. We are gaining, gaining, gaining. I'm gonna send the dummy up the outside. Switch it back to the inside. Got him. Prop, crash, crash. There's been a big crash. Uh, rewind, I don't know what happened. I wanna take a look. All right, welcome back to another episode of YouTube comments or the FIA. I send it up the inside. I kind of have the advantage going into the corner. Albon definitely doesn't leave me room and just turns into my inside. But then I also kind of don't leave him room because I have no idea he's there. I don't know. Is that a racing incident? Is that on me? Is that on him? My floor was damaged before. I think it is very, very damaged now. No way. Your race winner is Carlos Sainz. Able to get past Max Verstappen based on pure pace alone. Wow. GG, Carlos Sainz. Hold up, I wanna finish this in P11. There will not be a send from Alex Albon going through the last couple of corners. That's probably a safe move, honestly. In sprint qualifying, it's definitely not worth it to make a move like that. 
We go P11. No way, driver of the- Ah, uh, there's just been a crash on my screen with my teammate. There were all of the points for the sprint race. Max Verstappen really struggling out there. After our sprint race, let's take a look at the starting grid for today. So it's an all Ferrari lockout in Italy at Imola. It couldn't be more iconic. There is Max Verstappen. He's not going to be happy with that. Alcon actually didn't do too bad in the sprint race. Dropped down to P5, but not bad at all. The Haas is also doing very well in 8th and 9th. There we are in 11th with Albon behind, who's probably going to be very angry. There is our teammate starting in P14, the best starting position he's had. We do have George Russell behind, Sergio Perez behind, Lance Stroll behind. People are going to be sending it everywhere. Valtteri Bottas and Sebastian Vettel both pick up penalties. That's crazy. Are we gonna see the safety car today though? That is the question. If that sprint race told us anything, no. No, no, we won't. Everybody is starting on the medium compound tires except for the two Alpines. No way. Our race strategy for today is starting on the medium compound tires and then jumping onto the hard somewhere around the middle of the race. Obviously, it depends if there's a safety car or not. We'll have to change things, but we're in a very, very good spot right now, especially with Fernando Alonso in front of us on those hard tires. We might be able to send one. Here we go for the actual race this time. Mick Schumacher in front, rev it up. And away we go for the Italian Grand Prix. Can I get a better launch this time? Nope, nope. Super, super wheel spinning. I tried to use more gas and that just backfired massively. I drop all the way down to P17. Stomp on the brakes. I luckily get the inside line. I'm able to fight it back to P14. Just that was a terrible start though. That has got to be my work start all season. Jeez, what is going on today? Oh, hello. 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 That was lucky. I'll take that one. Thank you, Oscar, for not fighting too hard. That was such a chaotic start. Literally started in P11, dropped to P17. Fight our way back to P13. I have no idea how we just did that, but that was crazy. Keep it out of Pierre Gasly. That would be great. We don't want to be liked by Pierre Gasly that much. A messy opening lap, though. That could have been a thousand times better. We had the opportunity to go for Fernando and go for Mick Schumacher, but a poor start slowed me down big time. There is my teammate. You can go the outside line if you want, but like we showed, you are not faster here. I am sorry, Oscar. The AI, though, actually keeping it very clean. With how chaotic the race starts have been so far, I was kind of expecting one of the AI to kind of mess up, but no. Very, very clean from them. My teammate is behind. Yellow flag, speaking of messy, that is one of the Alpines by the looks of it. I saw a bit of carbon fiber, and it's, it's Charles Leclerc, who's had a big problem. That is gonna be an engine blow up or a tire failure or something. But that is Charles Leclerc. Dunzo, yep, out of the race. Absolute nightmare scenario for Ferrari at their home race. Yuki Sonoda, Nicholas Latifi, and Lance Stroll all went into the pits like on lap one, two, three. Stopped for soft compound tires. They must have had damage. I didn't actually notice that. That's insane. Anyways, let's go though. We are in a very good position to maybe get some points out here today. We do have some really fast people behind. We know, uh oh. I have no idea how I'm pulling away from Sergio Perez in a straight line. I mean, I've got DRS, I've got the slipstream, the battery and everything. But we pulled away. I mean, a little bit. He's he's already closed it back up. But you know, that was that, that, that was that was my bad. That one. That was my bad. Oh, for God's sake! I thought we were done with the fast people overtaking us. Nope. There is George Russell. Just go. Just go. Just go. 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 George, you moron! Please don't hit me, George. Please don't hit me, George. Please don't hit me, George. Oh. I don't want to be tapped on the head. Anyways, there is going to be a big, big train of cars up in front. And it's all because of, I 
think it's Esteban Archon who's all the way up at the front leading it. You can even just see on the minimap, everybody's just kind of stuck behind him. I mean, somebody could actually play a very brave call and go for an early pit stop strategy, but... I don't know if that's even worth it. Luckily for me, my teammate is actually catching up now, which is good news for the N NCP team. <gasps> Somebody went in. Somebody went in. Who was it? It was Alex Albon. Alex Albon did it. That's exactly what I... Uh, Oscar? Oscar, why? Oscar, no. This race is about to go from bad to... It's, it's going from bad to worse right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, fantastic. Apparently, we're just gonna sit in a choo-choo train for a couple more laps, and hopefully somebody overtakes somebody. So Oscar goes for an overtake on us, then proceeds to go extremely slowly, so much so he loses DRS on the guys in front, and now we're just losing tons and tons of time because we're pay playing let's battle each other. Bro, I'm literally gonna spin you out and then fire you. That's the most stupid thing I've ever seen. I, though, am now going into the pits on lap number 14, so stomp on the brakes, no penalty there. There's actually a few people in here. Ricardo, Gasly, myself, Piastri continues on, so that's good news. Okay, get ready to turn in. I've actually got to pay attention to these now and turn it. I, I misclicked. I clicked the wrong button. Come on, come on. Yeah, you don't say. I really wish we could have got a safety car, but we're on extremely cold tires and Sebastian Vettel is on, I guess, new-ish or maybe old soft. Yep, there's no grip. Absolutely no grip. That's one of the new things for F122 that I need to get used to. Every time you come out of the pits, your tires are just ice cold. You're gonna lose like a second, maybe two seconds a lap. Like this is just... It's kind of ridiculous. It, it, it doesn't turn. Not even a little bit. Oh, uh, it's like driving on ice when you come out of the pits. There goes Oscar into the pits. Hopefully he has a good pit stop, or at least better than mine. Vettel isn't gonna have any DRS, so I should be able to gain pretty nicely here. There is Valtteri Bottas behind, who's trying to force it up the inside. There's my teammate. He's gonna lose some positions. That sucks. Not fast enough to catch up to Sebastian Vettel, though. I'm going to need to work these hard compound tires in and then I'm going to be able to go providing I can dodge Bottas and pull away from him, but he tries to go around the outside. Going to need to leave him room. He decides to pull out of the move, okay? <gasps> Sebastian Vettel. Sebastian Vettel. What happened? Wait, didn't he blow his engine up in the, in the, in the sprint race? Did he really blow it up again? Please, 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 safety car. Please, safety car. I know you're near an exit but I don't care. Give me a safety car, please. I don't know what is wrong with this game and giving me a safety car, but it's actually getting a bit ridiculous now. Seven engine failures. Well, I held it for as long as I could. Valtteri Bottas finally made the position up. GG, my guy. That's been, what, seven, eight laps about. I'm off now. I'm off. I'm off. I'm off. I'm off. I'm off. Okay, don't lose too many positions here. Go, Oscar. It's up to you now. I was literally battling with Valtteri Bottas for, I don't know, the past 10 laps, it feels like. It's such a mental strain. I knew I was going to mess up at one point, and that was the point. And say goodbye to Valtteri Bottas. Oh, Oscar. Oscar, you are kidding me. Letting you pass and you lose Valtteri Bottas so much so, you no longer get DRS, which is going to slow us down and push us into the path of the Alfa Romeo behind. This is not good. Oh my God, there he is, there he is. He's going, he's going, he's going, he's going up the inside. I'm gonna send around the outside. Switch it back to the inside. Kind of take away his room. That was a little messy, but okay. Oh my God, no. This is, this is, this is a disaster. This is another disaster. Never mind. <laughs> At least I'm not having that bad of a race. That's one way to get the AI out of your way. Now it's just up to me and Oscar, though. It is a 1v1 with three laps to go. Come on. Here we go. Now we're going on to the final lap of the Grand Prix. Can we get Piastri? That is the question. Sus final corner for me. Come on. It is make it or break it. I have no DRS. I've got nothing. By DRS, I mean ERS. Words are hard. Carlos signs. Wow, nearly lapped us. I don't think we're catching Piastri. I don't think we are. He's just... He's too fast, and it's not worth it to go for a send on him. That was certainly a race. 
There is the checkered flag. What is that, P14 for us? That's not a terrible result. You've got to remember, we're still a back marker in F1, so we're not supposed to be getting a whole bunch of points. Sergio Perez, driver of the day. I wonder where he finished. I can't believe, though, heartbreak for the Ferraris, even though they look um, fa fairly excited about getting P1. I would have been pretty annoyed about Charles Leclerc's engine blowing up. Max Verstappen, though, P2. Lewis Hamilton, P3, not bad. There is George Russell and Sergio Perez. That sucks. They were only just able to get into the points. How do the standings look right now? Verstappen with a big lead over Charles Leclerc. Only three points in front of Carlos Sainz, though. Constructors-wise, Ferrari still has it. Wow. The next episode should be a super exciting one. It's the Miami Grand Prix. We've got a marketing department event. That should be fun. We've got more upgrades coming to the car and we're going to be spending a whole bunch of money. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to check out the Air 12 Sim Racing Gloves. Links in the description down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon with some more. See you then. Bye.